it is so wonderful to be here with you, giving you this amazing gift. I'm going to hang out for a minute and um, just wait until I get some people. I'm um, trusting that they will come very shortly. For those of you watching the recording, welcome. I trust you've done your home play questions. I trust you've engaged and truly discovered what it's going to mean for you to give this up, what it's going to mean for you when you give this up. I can see someone can see me. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, it is such a pleasure and a privilege to be able to share this with you. Hey, Else, so wonderful to be doing this for the group. I'm just going to give people a couple of minutes to come on. While I'm doing that, Heidi, so great to have you. How did you find the pre-questions? What did you learn? What did you discover as you went through those pre-questions? Um, the, the power of this, I'm loving the hearts, guys. Thank you so much. Um, the power of this is that when you've done the, you're absolutely welcome, Heidi. Um, the power of this, when you've done the pre-questions, when you've done the pre-work, your unconscious mind is primed, ready to make the shift. Um, and it, it's truly, this is the most amazing gift that we can give to ourselves in you being here, accepting it, and also to pass on and give to others. Um, and a little bit self-indulgently, the greatest gift is the gift it gives to me as I've done this with others. I've let go of so much over the last couple of days. I'm just going to look at the comments. Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much, Grace. You are such an amazing person serving as well. Your gifts of DSR to the community have been phenomenal. Thank you so much as well, Grace. Hey, Liz. Hey, I think it's CEO. I hope I'm saying that right. So great that you made it. I'm so pleased that you're here. Uh, so, guys, let me know in the comments how you went with the pre-learning questions. If you haven't done the pre-learning questions or the like the pre, what did I call them, pre-work questions, you will still get phenomenal gift from this. You'll get even more powerful transformation when you've done the pre-work questions. Hey, Kathy, you're absolutely welcome. Just going to give it another minute or two for people to show up. Give me something to work with, guys. I need to know what you thought of the pre-work questions. I, <laughs> um how you went with them, what you discovered, what you learned, if you're open to sharing that, what you discovered, um, just in not having what those questions are in terms of applying it to your coaching, if that's an easier thing for you to share. I'd love to know. I know there's a bit of a lag. Again, it's such a privilege. If you're watching the recording, feel free to skip over this bit. I just want to make sure as many people are on the line. I've got a bit of an itchy nose. Excuse me. You've done the pre-work questions, Kathy. That's fantastic. I love that. Um, you'll get far more value from this having done that pre-work questions. If you're watching the recording and you haven't yet done the pre-work questions, can I encourage you to go and find them? Um, there will be a link somewhere on this post or I may actually even just post them in the description. Um, do the pre-work questions and then come and enjoy the power of this exercise. Alrighty, I'm going to just give it another minute or two until I get in deep. Any questions, anything um, because I'm kind of sitting here feeling like I'm out on a limb and struggling to find what to talk about. It's an absolute pleasure to give you this gift. It truly is a phenomenal process. Um, and while we're waiting, actually, one of the things I would love to do is publicly acknowledge and thank Sharon Pearson for her dedication to teaching us these methodologies and to ILS for the accountability challenge. If you're not in on the accountability challenge yet, why not get in on it? So we're up to week five, I think, this week. Maybe week six, week seven. I don't know what week we're up to. We're up to somewhere really cool. They're all recorded and you can catch up on them. So get in on the accountability challenge. The purpose of this is to help you release any emotions so that you can actually move forward in that accountability challenge. So by all means, get in on that and um, then come back. When you've done the pre-work questions, you know what you're wanting to release and where you're wanting to move forward and you'll get the most value out of this exercise that I'm about to start any minute now. Week eight is next week. Thank you so much, Ilse. Thank you. Beautiful. So I've got eight people watching. Um, I should have checked how many people I was expecting. I'm going to, hey, Fiona Jean, so great to have you here. Um, I trust you've done the pre-work questions. If you haven't, feel free to hang out with us. Enjoy the uh, the pleasure of this. You'll still get an amazing transformation and then go and do the pre-work questions and apply it. I think I'd love to bring in here. This can be done for any number of emotions. Um, I think Sharon's recommendation that she taught in Metamagic that I've been watching from the sidelines in the, um, in the chat group was that there was four emotions um, as a minimum. So they could be anger, sadness, fear, um, 
can't remember what her fourth one was. I'm going to go with guilt, but it could be anything. Um, over the past couple of days, I've helped people let go of self-doubt, that feeling of I'm not good enough, guilt, um, sadness, anger, frustration. Any of those are phenomenal. Uh, so Heidi, I recommend you do one emotion at a time. So just pick one and then redo the process for each new or additional emotion. So for this exercise, simply pick one emotion that you're ready to let go of, be it sadness, anger, frustration, fear is a really common one within business. I'm finding people have a fear, um, potentially overwhelm is an emotion you could be ready to let go of. I dig a little bit deeper with that. So if you've got overwhelm, what's the feeling underneath that? Generally, it would probably be fear. Uh, sadness is another really common one. Anger, guilt, all of those. Any one of those could be brought to this. Disappointment, thank you. Yeah, bust one limiting belief in one DSR. So one limiting, um, one negative emotion. This process can be done for limiting beliefs or emotions. Today I'm going to focus on emotions. So I encourage you to have found a, oh, thank you so much Liz for posting those questions. I encourage you to have found an emotion that you're ready to let go of. So I trust you've done the pre-work. I trust you're ready to rock. I trust you're ready to play out at 100%. I trust your unconscious mind is sitting there going, yes, 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 we're ready. Let's do this. So Shall we do it? Just give me a little bit of love and I'll, I'll jump on into the, um, to the exercise. Not getting any love, guys. <laughs> I trust there's a lag. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Heidi. Fantastic. So before we get into it, let's just check in with your unconscious mind. Is it okay with your unconscious mind to make this change and for you to have conscious awareness of it and maybe not even notice what has changed within you, but to notice that it feels great. Is that okay? Yes? Fantastic. Let's do this. I trust you've already checked in if there's anything that would prevent you from doing this um, today and moving forward. Check in right now. Is there anything that would prevent you from making this change? And if there is, I encourage you to go back to the pre-work questions or just simply let it go right now. If this is what you are wanting to let go of, if you're ready to release this emotion, let go of anything that could possibly get in your way. Enjoy the experience, truly, yeah, thanks else. So what I'm gonna encourage you to do, actually I'm not gonna encourage you, I'm gonna tell you flat out, now is the time to put your feet on the ground and your hands in your lap. And you can lean back and focus on a spot above the computer, just above it, and allow your awareness to expand, allow yourself to become aware of the walls behind you as you focus on that spot. And that's right. Now just close your eyes. I want you to float up above now and look down on now. Let yourself know when you're there. Continue floating up until you find yourself in a space that is safe. And if you're not safe yet, continue floating up. Just float up until you find that you are safe. And then when you are there, and you're there now, right? You're safe. Floating above, looking down. Beautiful. That's right. Very good. And now open your eyes and just pop in the comments how that felt. How was that for you? I'm going to wait for the lag and just check in. How was that? As you floated above yourself, how did you find it? What was the experience? It felt safe. What else did it feel for you? Often I get responses as I'm waiting for the lag. It feels a little bit weird. It feels a little bit trippy. Wow, that was amazing. Liz says that it felt light. Thank you, Liz. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well done. Fantastic. Now we're going to do it again. So focus on that spot. Expand your awareness now. Feel the walls behind you. Feel the walls beside you as you focus all of your attention on that spot, fully aware of what's surrounding you. Now close your eyes. That's right. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and float up above now. And let me know when you're there. Let yourself know when you're there. Way, way, way up above. I want you to notice that you can see your future. And notice your past is somewhere perhaps behind you or beside you. And you can notice that the two are connected by a line, can't you? Just float above now. 
and the line is down below. Notice what colour it is. Potentially say it out loud to the computer. And I want you to notice that there is a time in your past that is indicated, a little notch in your timeline that indicates where that first event is, where you first experienced the emotion you were ready to release. Just float way above that event now so that you are way, way, way up above that event and you feel safe right now. Check in, is that the first event or is there an event earlier? Just notice, just trust your unconscious mind to guide you. If there is, float back to that very first event and notice that first event. What do you want to do with that event? Do you want to push it away from you or do you want to change it? Now just float up a little bit higher and a little bit higher and a little bit higher. Now farther back and farther back and a little bit higher and a little bit higher. Just a little bit higher and a little bit further back. That's right. Very good. And just notice if there is a positive learning for you to take from this, to learn about yourself, the ultimate learning from this, the gift you've been waiting for all these years to unwrap, to open and go, wow, of course, that was always there. What is the positive learning? Tell the computer what your positive learning was. Yeah, that's right. What other positive learnings did you gain from this experience? That's right. What else? Hmm. That's right. What other positive learnings did you take from this experience? Place them all out in front of you. Say them aloud to the computer. It's waiting to know. What did you learn in that moment, the positive learnings you gained? That's right, very good. Check in, how does it feel now? How do you feel now? Yeah, that's right. And as you feel that amazing feeling, that wonderfulness within you, as you feel that, what is its positive intention for you? Yeah, that's right. It is. And as you experience that positive feeling, what is the gift in that for you? Of course. That's right. And what is the positive feeling in that for you? What is the positive intention? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Ultimately, the highest intention of you feeling this and experiencing this. Check in. Because it's love, isn't it? Ultimately, the purpose of this for you right now is to experience even more love. That's right. Well done. You know that warm feeling you get in your heart? When you bring that love and all of those feelings that you just experienced into your heart, just bring that feeling into your heart and have it expand. I wonder if you can notice what colour it is. Yeah, that's right, it is. And just notice it expand even bigger, even stronger. How good does that feel right now? Just float back down into that old event. What changes do you notice? That old belief, that old thing, that old emotion, is it there or has it disappeared right now? That's right. Now float up above the event. Check in. Is there anybody who needs to be forgiven? That's right. Well done. Is there anybody else who needs to be forgiven? And just check in one last time. Is there anybody else who needs to be forgiven? 
and notice who it is that really needs to be forgiven. Because it's you, isn't it? And you deserve that forgiveness and do that right now. Notice how you have forgiven yourself right now in this moment. Right now. Now take a look at your timeline. How has it changed? Yeah, that's right. Well done. Very good. Float back to now only as rapidly as that awesome feeling expands and comes with you. All the way back to now. Very good. Noticing how this is who you truly are. Open your eyes. Well done. Well done. You are truly amazing and phenomenal and you've given yourself an amazing gift. I commend you and congratulate you. I'd love to know, what do you now notice about yourself? Say it out loud to the computer or type it into the chat box. You guys are doing amazingly. It's going to give you a moment to say out loud what you've noticed about yourself. Pop it in the chat box if you can. Heidi feels free. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Well done. And as you feel that, notice those new learnings within yourself. Go back to a time when you would have felt that old thing, that old emotion. Fiona's feeling calm. It's beautiful. Go back to the time where you would have felt that old emotion and notice the changes now. Yeah, beautiful, Samantha. Just beautiful. Notice those changes. How wonderful. And as you notice those changes, I'd love for you to go out to a time that hasn't happened yet. Take yourself out to the future where you are even more of you, where you're even more, of the, more aware of the gifts you've been given, the gifts you have inside, the resources available to you, the resourcefulness within you. And as you notice that resourcefulness within you, you also notice around you is a tribe of people ready to champion you, to support you, to nurture you. And with their support, as you go out even further into the future, you notice your own uniqueness is starting to shine. You are being who you need to be in this world, not because you need to be, but because you want to be and because it is truly an expression of who you are. And you express your uniqueness. You express those amazing gifts to others. And as you take that amazing expression of yourself, supported and nurtured and loved by others, you move out to a time even further forward where you are giving those gifts to others around you. You are stable in yourself. You know your uniqueness. You know what you stand for. You are who you are. You are living your dream and you are giving that gift to others beyond you. You are taking that gift and you're sharing it. Maybe it's with your family. Maybe it's with coaching clients. Maybe it's in a phenomenal scenario where you're doing one-to-many work and you run an online course or you speak at big events. Whatever it is for you, hold on to it. Tuck it into your heart. Tuck it into your heart. Feel that feeling as you go out into the world knowing that you are supported, nurtured and cared for knowing your own uniqueness, knowing the power you bring, the gifts you have within and the capacity to share with others. Tuck that into your heart and as fast as you are able to expand that awareness, bring it right back to now. Well done. Well done. Thank you so much for the privilege and the pleasure of sharing this amazing gift with you. Just going to check in on the comments. So we've got Liz with a happy sigh. Samantha Douglas is infinitely complete as she is. Heidi is grateful and blessed. Fiona is feeling calm. Sia is stable in himself. Conrad loved and supported. Phenomenal, guys. You guys have come so far. You've learnt so much. 
truly a pleasure and a privilege. I look forward to more comments coming through. For the moment, I encourage you to go away or stay right where you are. I'm going to go away and let you thoroughly enjoy this feeling. I trust that it is truly amazing. I trust that you are feeling truly connected to yourself. And I trust that in time, when that feeling settles, you will come and share your phenomenal learnings in this community with us. Thank you so much for the love, so much for the likes. Love and light and love back to you guys. Have a phenomenal moment enjoying this experience and the phenomenal rest of your day. Bye.